Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord, I come to you as humble as I know how, Father God. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins, those that I know of and those that I don't. Continue to create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Lord, I ask you to have your way, Father God. Lord, I move Maria out the way, Father God, so that you alone can get the glory, Father God. Lord, I ask you to take over my mind, my body, and my soul, Father God, as I bring forth your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to be coming from Jonah, the second chapter, verses 1 through 10. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. For thou hast cast me into the deep in the midst of the seas, and the floods campest me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters compass me about, even to the soul the depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountain. The earth with her bars was about me for ever, yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption. O Lord, my God, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy, but I will sacrifice unto thee with thy voice. Of thanksgiving I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out of out Jonah upon the dry land. The topic I'm going to use tonight is Jonah's cry. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Jonah's cry. So often we go to God in our flesh. When God gives us directions, we run. When God tells us to speak, we have 50 million excuses as to why we can't speak. We go to God and ask God for this. We ask God for that. But until we can do what God has called us to do, we will continue to cry just like Jonah. Jonah cried out to God in the fish's belly. Where could Jonah go? He couldn't run. He couldn't hide. He was right where God wanted him to be. And there are some of you out there are right where God wants you to be. In the fish's belly. That fish belly may be in your home. That fish belly may be on your job. That fish belly may even be in your church. But you right where God have you to be. Jonah's cry. Sometimes God allows things to come upon us so that we will cry out to him. And in our crying out to him, we become meek, we become humble. So humble that we will not ask questions. We will just go and do what God has called us to do. Are you crying out like Jonah? When you cry out like Jonah did in the fish's belly, God can hear you. Why? Because you're sincere. You're not playing. You for real with God. So many are playing church, but it's time to become to become the church. The church is not about a building. It's about where your heart is. It's about where your soul is. It's about being filled with the Holy Ghost. And if you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, you're none of His. How can two walk together except they agree? You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Jonah's cry. 
Jonah cried out to God. Jonah cried out, saying, Lord, have mercy. Paraphrasing. Jonah was saying, Lord, help me. I know Jonah was saying, Lord, if you just let me get out of this, or let me get out of that, God, I'll do your will. And a lot of times, that, that's what we do now. We make these promises to God, and we don't keep them. And it's a bad thing to make a promise to God and not keep it. It's better to not have made a vow than to make a vow and break it. You got to be very careful of the promises you make to God. Because God will hold you accountable for those promises. Jonah's cry. We sometimes, we got to cry out to God. We got to see God's face. We got to ask God, Lord, what do you have me to do? Lord, what's on your heart today? What's on your mind, God? Reveal yourself to me. And in revealing yourself to me, God, I can fulfill your will. Lord, I need you to teach me. Teach me how to speak your word. Teach me how to go forth in you, God. These are the things that you ought to be asking God. Why? Because these are the things that's on God's heart. God want us to cry out to his children, to him. God want us to cry out and pray that Israel be saved. God want us to fulfill his will in the earth. Why? Because he said, greater works than these that you shall do. Jesus did mighty works, but what are you doing? Are you letting your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven? Or is Satan your Father? You're going to have to distinguish between the two. Because how can you walk together except you, they agree? God and Satan don't agree, so how can, you walk with, how can you walk with God and still serve Satan? It won't work. You got to choose you this day whom you're going to serve. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Jonah's cry. Jonah, in the well belly, three days and three nights. Just as Jesus Christ was in the earth, three days and three nights. How long are you going to stay in your mess? How long are you going to continue to disobey God? You see, the, the, wrath, of, the uh, wrath of God comes upon the children of disobedience. Why are you continue to walk in disobedience when God done delivered you time and time again? Why do you continue to do what you do? Why? He said, fret not thyself because of evil doers who will stumble upon the, along the way. You got to know that you know that God is on your side. You can't fret. You can't walk. You can't look at what man is doing in the flesh. Why? There's nothing good that profits a flesh. If God ain't in it, it will not last. Jonah's cry. You got to know that you know that you know that God is on your side. Why? Because greater is he that is in thee than he that is in the world. For the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Jonah's cry. When are you going to cry out to God in the fish's belly? Or are you going to continue to stay there? Because the longer you stay there, the more you're going to have to miss out. Get it right and get to moving. Jesus is on his way back.